Hello everyone, today is July 1st, which I'm in shock about. Um, this is Amanda Roberts, or Amanda Ballou Roberts, as some of you know me. And today is video 55 of 100, 100 lives in a row. I was challenged back in April from Natasha Hazlitt, who wrote the book Unstoppable Influencer and is one of my business coaches, to do 100 lives in 100 days. So while people are popping on here, I'm going to give you guys a quick update. Um, I told you yesterday my brother is home and Camden and Kale and I spent four hours at Scottish Rite Children's Hospital, but he is casted. He's a little bit disappointed that his cast is not waterproof. Um, unfortunately, they set it in the hospital at St. Francis Children's in Tulsa on Thursday, and it wasn't set 100%. So they had to mold it, And but he is um, five weeks in this cast, and I've just ordered him a uh, waterproof thing that goes like up to here so that he wants to swim. And so we're gonna do everything in our power to make that happen and so that he can still swim because we typically go to the pool at least three days a week. Anyways, <clears throat> the title of this and I'm I'm doing, I'm really trying lately to stay within a certain time frame. I'm never gonna be that three minute video person on a regular basis, but there's a something on my heart that I need to share and maybe it's even going back as far as 2008. Um, and the thing that keeps coming up because whenever I know to go live is when there's a rep repetition, I feel like something is on my heart that I'm supposed to share with someone. So the title of this uh, video is keep on dreaming and, and don't stop dreaming and continue to dream. It doesn't matter how old or young you are. It does not matter. So often as adults, we get stuck in the mundane. We get stuck in the day to day. We get stuck living paycheck to paycheck and we get stuck giving up on all those things that when we were 18 years old, we dreamt about. Today is the day to recognize you gotta stop that. You can't live your life just in on a train track, cause you're not. Um, you know, they say that, and, and there's so many versions of this, but essentially God does not give you a dream to match your budget. And at the same time, one thing that I've struggled with is he doesn't call the equipped. He calls, he calls the person like me that's not equipped. However, he equips the called. And so therefore, what that means and what that Bible verse continues to populate into my brain on a regular basis is there are things that I have said over the last 11 or 12 years that God is finally coming into fruition because it's always been in the back of my head. I've occasionally joked about it. Things that I always said that I loved about network marketing, direct sales, think those parts that I loved the most, he has brought full circle and that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to help other people. I know that that is what he has called me to do. And back in early, mid 2000 and eight or the end of 2008, I started writing a blog and I find it the irony in all of this is quite interesting because for those who don't know my original story, I was in college at San Jose state when I met my ex-husband who had Cole, my, who at the time was four, four and a half. Okay. So here I am, um, 20 years old. I start dating my ex who was working for a USAC team in Indianapolis and then I stopped and we stopped dating for a couple of months because I needed to figure some things out and I felt as though he did too. When we got back together, it was a month or two later that I found out Cole's mom was pregnant and for whatever reason, God put it on my heart to stick around, to, to push through. 
and he asked, ended up asking me to move. I graduated a semester early, which had always been the plan from San Jose State. So I graduated in December of 2017 and it was five weeks later, I started my very first corporate job. I was an auto claims adjuster for State Farm. And then five and a half weeks later, so, oh, the week that I started, the same week I started my very first corporate job is the week that Kaylee was born. I started on a Monday, she was born on a Thursday. And it was five and a half weeks after that that their mom passed away due to a misdiagnosed kidney infection. Um, she had went septic and passed in the middle of the night. Now I share all of that with you because that is what introduced me about six months after all of, um, or a year after all of that happened and I had bought my first house at 23 years old. I mean, things were just in motion. And I had this big dream that I knew that I was going to be successful at whatever I put my mind to. At that time, State Farm was trying and encouraging me um, before I had kids and even after I had Kale to go through the motions to promote to the higher ranks or to go into the agency program. I just knew it wasn't for me. I knew that it was on my heart and it was around mid 2000, eh, probably end of 2008 that I started writing my first blog. Okay. So my, my blog that I wrote for over a year was titled a hand in hope and it just came to me. I needed it. It was something very special to me. I wrote about being a stepmom being a young, you know, everybody looked at me. I mean, I was young. And at the same time, I was being trained. So sometimes now people are like, oh, you're really young. How old are you? And I always tell people, one, I've always been an old soul. And two, I know that I've been through more than most people will ever. And I'm okay with that. Uh, I've always talked about the plate and how my plate has always been overabundantly full, whether the good, bad, and the ugly. And Andrea Tomasi used to say, it's because God has called you to do big things. And you know, at the time, I wouldn't always understand that. But I realized even way back then, I was gonna do big things. Now, in my opinion, I've not done big things yet, but they're coming. And I know that it's just getting started. It's my plan, my purpose is just beginning. And so the reason that I'm sharing this with all of you is I think so often adults give up on their dreams, forget their dreams, push their dreams to the side for their spouse or their kids. And I challenge you, one thing about me is, I remember when I turned 31, my mom asked me, um, this a couple years ago, my mom asked me, when are you gonna stop celebrating your birthday? And I'm like, never. I'm gonna be the 75 year old woman that has my significant other take me to the bar and buy shots for all the young kids. That is who I am because I embrace whatever age, that's just who part of me. I'm fun and I am a people pleaser in recovery. And you know, I always wanna be, make everybody else happy at sometimes my, my self demise. And I've recognized over the last couple of months of working on me that I gotta worry about me and I've gotta make myself the happiest version of myself so that I can achieve my goals for 2019 and they're huge. So when I tell you that if you still have that flick of a flame left, that dream that sometimes populates and you think, oh wait, there's no way I could ever do that. I challenge you to look into it. You know, relationships change, marriages sometimes end or begin, kids grow up, jobs change, businesses come and go. And at the end of it all, do you want to just have lived on the train tracks of life? Or do you want to 
get on a plane and have control to a certain extent of where you think you're supposed to go. I know now what I've been called to do. I know that I'm still going to face adversity, you guys. Everybody is. We're going to face turbulent times, trials and errors. We're going to face some really amazing times and celebratory times as well, though. So I challenge you, if there's something you really want to accomplish, stop pushing it down or pushing it to the back of your mind and go figure out the steps that it's going to take and do the action to make things begin to happen. And so I challenge you all because for years and years I've joked about writing a book. I have joked about, you know, becoming a consultant and, and helping other people. I've joked about being a coach, a business coach. I've joked about all of these things, but in a joking manner. And now I recognize me getting in the best shape of my life, the best mental, physical, emotional, everything is for a greater purpose. So with that, you guys, I love you all. I hope you've had an amazing day an amazing 4th of July week. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.